I'm going to wrap up this week of the Taiwan special with this extra little chat here. Um, I've talked about the, the, the one-way street, the manufacturing problem in China, how it affects church, technology, design manufacturing. Okay. What, what's currently happening in Taiwan, they want to make English, their premier, William Lai. Well, William Lai was the mayor from where I lived. I mean, he's awesome. I love the, the premier. Look at my other videos to find out what a premier is. Google, you know, what is a premier in Taiwan and China? And the, the structure is very much the same. He wants to make English their official second legal language. Like they want government papers, laws written in English, and it's a legal language that's acceptable. He wants to push that. I, that's a good goal. That, that I'm, I'm, I, I'm happy for that. I'm happy that he's, that's a bold thing. That's the 13-year-old declaring that, that, that he's going to be a college basketball star. I, you know, that, that's not a bad thing. That's big goals, but I don't think he knows what it entails. I really don't think he does because he comes from this culture that I've described. And I don't think that Taiwan is aware of how bad the black market is, how much they've insulted Americans by inviting them to come into this situation and then not helping them. I mean, if they were serious, I mean, I, you know, I've, I've argued in the past many times that Americans who put up with this for five years, just being in Taiwan, I forget, forget the, the working thing. You know, t Taiwan doesn't have the systems to allow foreigners to fulfill the legal requirements. They don't enforce it. If someone else attacks the foreigner, the government doesn't help them get unattacked. They have laws and systems and cultures, cultures, black box, I've talked about this week, in place so that a, a Taiwanese can hyena style attack a foreigner and can prevent that foreigner from being able to get permanent residence. And the government has no devices in place to stop it. So forget those requirements. If, a, if an American, Taiwan wants friendship with America, if an American has been in Taiwan five years they should get a type of permanent residence. I'm not even asking for, for passport, which Taiwan already has with America. I'm not even asking that Taiwan be as equal as America treats them, but that they come almost. And I'm only saying five years, and I'm only saying 183 days per year. I've been in Taiwan 10 years, well longer than that each year. I'm not, I'm not, asking for anything that I haven't already doubled in the, in the exceeding of. If Taiwan is serious about getting ESL as our language, <laughs> they've got to cut this crap about having to go to the circuit breaker box every time you take a shower before and after. And they've got to make the switches outside the bathroom normal. And even in old buildings, even in old buildings, um, I like, you know, I'm moving into a, a new building and it still doesn't have that switch. And if I try to tell the landlord, you need to do this, this is dangerous. They will hyena style attack me and chase me out of the apartment. My, my current landlord did that actually. My, this is, this is a, like, this is my life. My current landlord hyena attacked me and chased me out of this apartment. I've got the, I got the phone records. Uh, foreigners are weird. I don't like their culture, but see, here's the thing. I'm patient. I'm in Taiwan. I'm patient. And, and I have been praying a lot. I wake up in the morning and pray every day, like at 5 a.m. Um, I've been kind. I've been gentle. I've communicated. And my landlord has had a change of heart. I'm still leaving. I'm on schedule. I, I, I signed a, a lease at a new place. I've got to leave. But my landlord has had a change of heart and has at least been friendly towards me. That doesn't happen with a lot of people. I'm, I'm not the person that just gets all the friendships canceled and has the fallout and everything goes bad. I actually push through to a happy ending. So when I ask for change, I'm not talking about it as the victim. I'm the guy who took my unfair disadvantage and turned it into an unfair advantage and played it all in my favor. And I'm still asking for justice for the other guys who didn't do that for whatever reason. Ability, choice, it doesn't matter. This is unfair and I've overcome it. And... Taiwan wants to make English as, as an official second legal language and they want to have free trade with America. There needs to be something reciprocal and the reciprocal thing Taiwan needs to do is simple. 
grow up. Grow up. When, when, when children act like little brat children, you don't hate them. You better not anyway. You're the adult. But you want them to change. You love them. They're adorable. You see the problem. Oh, yeah, you're a little brat. You know, the baby's going to cry all night. And I'm, you know, you know only, only, only an unworthy parent would get angry at the baby. Test your own patience, sure. You know, but only a parent would justify being angry. I'm angry at that baby for crying, and I'm right. You know, th that's not a healthy parent. So I'm not angry. I'm not hateful toward Taiwan for doing this, but I'm not in denial about it either. I mean, it, it, it's got to stop. Taiwan's a, ba a big baby and they need to grow up. And no one's telling Congress. Congress needs to tell Taiwan this and they don't. Americans don't talk about it. And we need this friendship with Taiwan. A lot of good things could happen. I think if Taiwan had exclusive access to free trade with Chinese goods that pass through Taiwan, I think that would settle. All this stuff going on with trade wars and jockeying back and forth for power and stuff. Goodness, if what would it have, just think about, think about what this could do either for peace or to push China to the edge of utter insanity where they were easy to defeat in a war. I mean, if China said no to this, see, this is where I'm going to get controversial. I'm going to suggest something in a minute. If China says no to this awesome suggestion, we need to go to war with them now before it gets to, uh, before they get totally out of hand. That, what I just said, is so politically incorrect. But where's our honesty about the situation? What China's aspirations are? What they really want to do? What the, what the, 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 as I see it in my lay opinion, the unofficially, you know, viewed mental illness going on at the institutional level and culture-wide level. The, the, the suggestion that China, that we should accept that China could have trade with America if those goods are going through Taiwan and Taiwan's getting a profit from it. I, I mean, I, you know, if, by offering that free trade with Taiwan, if Taiwan would simply grow up, fix these English law problems, grant a, a kind of special restricted permanent residence to Americans who've been here five years, half a year each, you know, more than half a year, not a full year. Um, you know, given all that's, given that grab disorganized third world legal system, <laughs> uh, grab is, I don't think an official word, but you can look it up. I mean, grab generally, we know that it means what it means on the Urban Dictionary. It's, you'd never put these crazy things together. grab -astic. That That describes Taiwan's situation. You need to grow up out of that. If Taiwan would grow up out of that, they, then it stopped the, you know, stop the hyena-style attacks. Put devices in place that protect foreigners. If, a, if an American has an English teacher license, doesn't need a full job, just a license, and if the Americans who've been there can get a type of, you know, semi-bulletproof, so to speak, permanent residence, limited permanent residence, then those hyena style attacks won't work against Americans. And so they'll just be able to endure it and it will, and they'll continue to be patient and it'll continue to change the culture and Taiwan will mature and grow up. If Taiwan's willing to do that, circuit breaker boxes and hot water heaters, as I explained in the last episode, if Taiwan's willing to do that, Taiwan should get the only franchise right of free trade on Chinese goods into America, as long as they at least go through a quality check inspection and Taiwan charges a fee for that. All goods from China flowing through Taiwan. <laughs> China's doing this thing where they, Taiwan belongs to us. That should be one of our provinces. We're going to invade that place. They've got like almost two, 1,800 missiles a few years ago was the count. Only 150 missile launchers was the count also, but like 18... 100 missiles aimed at Taiwan because China wants to threat. I mean, they're threatening to invade it. <laughs> Am I leaving? No way. <laughs> you know, look, 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 at, look at the British, um, the, the Blitzkrieg and the British, they wouldn't leave London, even though the bomb, they're like, leave London, leave all this. You know, no way, man, no way. Go, go look that up. Gladwell writes about it. You know, think about what that would do to China. If China, we said, okay, you can have 
free trade with America as long as the goods go pass through Taiwan and Taiwan makes a profit, the country you want to invade and you say is not a country. That would either force China to behave themselves or it would force them to go absolutely insane where we could hurry up, get this war done with, and then China's no longer the threat that it is. I, I know that sounds really terrible and bad and I, nobody should like to talk about war, but when it's inevitable and, and when, you know, is war inevitable with China or not? I'll tell you how to find out. Taiwan grows up and matures and Taiwan gets special access the only country through which Chinese goods can flow through, at least with a quality check or other back end parts of the supply chain, that will tell you if China's able to have peace or if they really want war and will hurry up and decide before their military gets bigger and they reverse engineer and copy more aircraft carriers. See y'all next week.